Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'll just explain a bit about myself. Uh, my name is Maureen O'Donnell. I'm a Widjakari woman, and I'd like to thank the Art Gallery for asking me to do the welcome and acknowledging our people, which is the Broken Hill Widjakari people, and half away to uh, Yunter and surrounding areas throughout New South Wales here. And I just wanted to do welcome to country and hope you have a lovely time and a good luck to all the winners. Thank you, Maureen. Hello everybody, on behalf of the Broken Hill City Council and the Broken Hill Regional Art Gallery, can I welcome you all to this year's Marama Indigenous Art Prize. We are very excited to partner with Marama and also Far West, uh, West Darling Arts and to bring local artists to the art gallery. Um, please take time to come down and see this exhibition. It certainly is exciting. Um, and you know, it's what is so important for artists is to be able to tell their story, their experience and their history. So welcome everybody, enjoy tonight and come down to the gallery in the future. And um, congratulations to all the artists and to our team at the art gallery for making this happen. Well done everyone. We hope that openings will eventually go back to the big events they once were, but in these current COVID times, we are still de dealing with many restrictions. So we would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our members, loyal supporters and artists, and we look forward to a more socially engaged future with you. Thank you, Arnie Maureen, for your warm welcome to country, and thank you, Mayor Turley AM, for opening our shows this evening. This is our 11th year of running the Murray Ma Indigenous Art Awards, a fantastic event that engages the local community and showcases some of the wonderful Indigenous artists from our region. The awards encourage artists to make new work and to continue to engage with the Broken Hill Regional Art Gallery. We would like to thank our sponsor, Murray Ma Health Aboriginal Corporation, and particularly CEO Bob Davis, for their ongoing support and commitment to the arts and community wellbeing in far west New South Wales. This is a partnership that we treasure and we look forward to continuing to work together on important projects that have direct benefits for the community. We would also like to thank our partner West Darling Arts for their ongoing support of the, board, of the awards. The Young Artist Prize this year is jointly sponsored by West Darling Arts and the Gallery. I would like to congratulate all of the artists exhibiting in the gallery, the entrance to the Art Awards and also the other exhibitions that are opening this evening. Jane Skier, Kathy Graham and all of the artists from the Williama Art Society. The gallery is open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Tuesday to Sunday and these exhibitions are open for the next eight weeks so please be sure to get in and see this fantastic round of shows. And now to the part that everyone is waiting for, it is my pleasure to introduce our judge for the 2021 Murray Ma Indigenous Art Awards. Erin Vink is a proud Nyampa woman and assistant curator of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. Erin has an extensive curatorial background, has written and featured in a number of art publications and is an alumni member of the prestigious West Farmers Indigenous Arts Leadership Program. We have a fantastic ongoing partnership with the Art Gallery of New South Wales. We're very honoured to have Erin out here to see everyone's work and judge the prizes in person. 
So good luck to all of the artists and I'll hand over to Erin. My name is Erin Bink, I am a Nyampa woman and I work as Assistant Curator of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art at the Art Gallery in New South Wales. I'm privileged to be this year's guest judge for the 2021 Murray Ma Indigenous Art Awards here at the Broken Hill Regional Art Gallery and I would also like to acknowledge the tr traditional owners of the custodians of the land that I'm on today and I pay my respects to all New South Wales Aboriginal people who are represented in this exhibition. In its 11th year, the Mari Mara Indigenous Art Awards has brought together a variety of entrants. There is no restriction on who can enter as long as you're from this region. And while there is no theme, the aim of the prize is to showcase and celebrate artworks from here. And as for judging, while I like art that is deliberately inaccessible, keeping some of its makers secrets, and also art that invokes profound and immediate feelings, I was also on the lookout here for works that have great stories, especially those that I felt were relevant to 2021. I think it's important to mention that I found judging particularly, particular categories quite hard as I wanted to award the prize to a number of entrants. So before I begin to announce the winners of these categories, I would also like to highlight some standout works that were on my commendation list, as I think these artists should be recognised for the work they've presented here. In the Young Artist Prize category, I would like to commend Charlize Catamol and Canyon Central School for their entries. In the Nungu Prize for Excellence, I would like to commend Fiona Bates. And in the Emerging Artist Award category, I would like to congratulate and commend Darren Biles. Congratulations to all of you, and you certainly made my decision a hard one, and I look forward to seeing what you present into the future. So let's get into it. Our first prize is the Broken Hill Regional Art Gallery and West Darling Arts Young Artist Prize, which I have awarded to Brandy Johnson Biggs for her work, My Family's Home on Barker. Brandy Johnson Biggs provides a colourful and topographical map of her country's homes across the Barker. This painting demonstrates the unique style and ability of, the, of this exciting emerging artist, showcasing how our young people are bringing new forms and understandings to our ancient stories. It loosely blends together different motifs and symbols that are identifiable within Aboriginal art, but it doesn't champion one over the, over the other. This reflects Biggs is aware of the melting pot of cultures across Australia and the difference between appreciation and appropriation. Congratulations, Brandy, a well-deserved award. The next award is the Nungu Prize for Excellence, which I have the pleasure of awarding to Edith Kennedy for her work, Barkindji Dreaming. With its bold colour and dynamic sense of movement, Barkindji Dreaming embodies confidence in country and culture. Kennedy shows great respect for her cultural history and details 65,000 65, years of land ownership, with ancestors, spirits and living Barkindji existing on country as well. Time is not linear within this work and Kennedy speaks to the notion of how Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have a different understanding of Indigenous place, space and time. Stories in all their forms, like the ones that unfold here, are what binds these fragile and important relationships to each other. Congratulations, Edith. For the Emerging Artist category, I'd like to award Billy O. Bates, winner for his work, Surface Tension. Bates reveals a sophisticated visual language through this detailed carving work. The orientation of the work and the scenes unfolding across the pieces of wood creates movement through its tension as it reveals its layers of meaning. Informed by the network of waterways along the Barker, the creatures of the river literally come alive here and their energies are present, with Bates forcing us to consider our relationships with these creatures and how they have been a source for food and hunting for thousands of years. Congratulations, a well-deserved award. Now on to the big ones. In the open art category, I'd like to announce second prize has been awarded to Terence Riley for his work, Dancing Brogas. The real strength of Riley's work is in its restraint. Here, Riley has not taken a medium to all edges of the fabric, that being the quilt cover he has repurposed. Instead, he has conjured and achieved a scene that conveys a quiet confidence and intimate knowledge of and connection with country. Riley shows us the clever man, an ancestral story who is also his spirit man 
and he extends this story to us to say that spirit is always there looking out for and over us. Riley has achieved a luminous image through his palette choice and what it achieves is a beautiful rendering, memory of place and it allows us to see country and the world through his eyes. Congratulations Terence. Finally, the Open Award winner for first place. It is my pleasure to award first place to Bonnie Quayle for her beautiful portrait titled Uncle Badger Bates. I was immediately drawn to Quayle's work because it feels very familiar. As human beings, we are interested in looking at ourselves and others, and this is what makes portraiture so accessible to audiences. The work might be too loosely painted for those who associate portraiture with near perfect photographic precision, but it's a sincere and likeable image of Uncle Badger, and it reflects his humble and caring spirit. Quail has filled the negative space with motifs that speak to Barkindji culture and country, and it is one of the few figurative paintings in this exhibition, and it was exciting to see community reflect on and celebrate the importance of community cultural elders. The more I looked, the more I was stirred by emotion, because it's exciting to see, for me, New South Wales Aboriginal artists working within portraiture and exploring styles outside of the traditional designs of the region and that which is typically associated with what Aboriginal art is. I congratulate all finalists in this year's Indigenous Art Awards and if you are visiting Broken Hill in the coming weeks, I encourage you to drop in and see the entries in person. You can explore this year's artworks in the gallery until April Mom, little things, big things. Oh. Uh, you're here with the deadliest station, well, Kenya River Radio, and BB Adams is right here with you. And don't we have something deadly? Our very own Well, Kenya Central School has a song especially for you out there. Miss Sarah and the staff wants all of us to remember just this one thing. Just because we're st stuck at home doesn't mean we can't stay connected. So if you want to be a part of this journey, people, record yourself on your phone, sing along to the chorus, and then, of course, send it to our deadly Miss Sarah. Just for you in Will Kenya, from little things, big things grow. Here on your station, 103.1 FM, keeping it alive. <laughs> Gather round people I'll tell you a story Of teachers and students With passion and pride We come from Will Kenya And we'd like you to listen These times might be scary but together we'll stand From little things, big things grow From little things, big things grow At home by myself I can't see all your faces we miss all your laughter Even though it's not far away Daily the pressures Grow tighter and tighter But I hope with your family You're safe and away From little things Big things grow from little things. Big things 
getting hang of it. see all of our dead little ones singing along at home so watch out people well Kenya's coming at you we love you stay safe cause we're all one big family so little things big things grow from Thank <laughs> you. 